Okay guys, uh, today we are going to change the dipstick tube for the oil. Um, my truck, uh, mine cracked when I was doing all the uh, valve springs and all that stuff. It cracked by the second, nice, nice noise there. Uh, it cracked up by the second uh, bracket. So uh, it's leaking out of there and I got to get a new one. So. I went and bought a brand new one right from uh, right from Mopar. I'll list the uh, part number in the description, and I am going to take the old one off and put the new one on today. And then next weekend, finally, because I'm feeling better right now, I've been having uh, back problems, so I went and started back therapy uh, from the Spine and Disc Center in Michigan. Um, I am going to do the lift pump finally and hopefully within the next two weeks I will do the uh, dual CP3s too. Uh, so for right now we're going to change the uh, oil dipstick tube and also we're going to change the oil on this thing because it's been leaking so it needs an oil change real badly. Uh, let me get back to you in a second here. I just took the wheel off and i'm going to take the fender well off too so that i can get in there and see by the starter because they said it's right behind the starter so i'm going to see if i got to pull the starter or whether or not i can just pop it out and pop it back in so i'll get right back to you thanks guys okay guys so what i did was i pulled the old oil dipstick tube out all i had to do was grab some players like those right there Lock jaws here. Let me show you what kind they are so you guys can get them. They're these kind. So what I did was I put them on there. I leaned them up against the, the starter because I didn't want to take the starter out. And I didn't also, I couldn't get that uh, bracket off that goes from the bell housing of the transmission to the engine block. Uh, it would not come off. One of the bolts is on there and it will not come out i've tried everything i was on there for an hour and a half trying to pull one bolt out and it will not come out so i stuck these in there grabbed it went like this popped it and the tube came out and i did the same thing when i put the new one in i grabbed it and then i took a little hammer and tapped it and it went right down in seated and everything it's sealed up everything is good and there it is, a brand new dipstick oil tube. What a pain. For such a small little thing, that was the biggest pain in my butt. Because to try and get in there with all these hoses and wires and everything like that, oh my goodness. But like I said, these are your best friend for putting in that tube. Uh, without these, I would have been sitting here for another two three hours trying to grab it with a regular pair of players so it is in it's sealed and i'm getting ready to wrap it up all right guys so uh in ending um dipstick tube was should have been a lot shorter than what i made it um i tried taking that bracket off that holds the transmission to the uh engine that bracket and it couldn't get it out because of the last bolt is on a rear wheel drive um, dually. A, the bolt is on that bracket, the last one is right underneath the motor mount. And you're not getting that bolt out. I, could, I tried, I had bought short sockets, I tried wrenches, I tried, uh, bought wrenches that grab um, everything, and I could not grab that bolt. Uh, and I didn't want to strip it, so I stopped it. So what I ended up using was, like put in the video there, um, I ended up using uh, vice grips that were needle nose vice grips. And it worked perfect. It worked fine. Um, it came right out. And then when it went to go in, I was able to push it in. I put my hands behind the starter and felt where the hole was. I shoved it in there, pushed it in. It wouldn't go all the way in so then i took those same vice grips just barely grabbed it with them with a piece of cloth around it so it didn't scratch it and make them rust or anything like that 
and I tapped it with a hammer and it went boom it seated itself I have no more oil leaks um, everything's good now and just so that everybody knows that's the way you can do it real easily without having to pull the starter off without having to pull that bracket off or anything just go buy a set of you know 10 15 dollar uh, needle nose vice grips i think i got mine probably for cheaper because i bought them from harbor freight and that was it i should have did that from the very start instead of trying to take that bracket off and it worked out just fine